Do you remember the Mimic? It's one of the biggest horror games on Roblox, and well, I've actually never played it. So today, I'll be playing through the first book, starting with chapter 1 and finishing off with chapter 4. But it won't be just any normal playthrough. I've actually given myself three rules. First off, I must play completely alone, so no one can carry me through the entire game. Second, I'll be playing on Nightmare difficulty. And finally, if I die, I'll reset the chapter so I can't use any checkpoints. Sounds pretty easy, right? Well, you're wrong. It was genuinely a nightmare and took me over 38 hours over multiple weeks of streams. So if you think that has earned me a like and a sub, thanks. The game starts off at La Canta High School, where our player character, Yasu, goes to school. We are here after hours searching for a missing friend group. I make my way through the empty halls and stumble upon a shrine of some sort. Is this a shrine? I feel like this is like a shrine, right? Why would they put garbage in here? And inside, we find a key that allows us to continue deeper into the school. And luckily enough, we actually find a note that one of our missing friends left us. And it says, She likes to mimic them. Be careful. Don't let yourself be deceived. Turn back before it's too late. And just like any horror store protagonist, we ignore all the warning signs. But we continue checking around the school until we stumble upon this hallway. Hell. Okay. With that minor heart attack out of the way, we enter the music room and notice another note that simply says, Die. And right below the sign was another key we needed to move forward. Guys, honestly, smash. The key unsurprisingly unlocks a scary, spooky basement door. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. What is, is, that, is that her again? Why is she like stalking me? crazy jump scare and just like movie magic we somehow get teleported to another realm that kind of looks like ancient japan Bruh. finally we reach the first major challenge in the mimic the maze to complete this section we must first find a key on the farmer's body then make it to the other side of the maze to unlock the gate all running away from hamachi the lady ghost demon who's been harassing us this whole chapter oh run <laughs> What a beautiful place. We now enter the outskirts of our village, and we are introduced to another spirit named Boraki Mashashki, who is seen playing the boa. I don't know about her face, guys. Hey, this is a... Once I enter our village, I get my first feeling of being genuinely safe, but then I notice a worried looking farmer. Who's this guy? Who, when questioned, talks about how he should be more careful around these parts due to his brother recently gone missing. And talks about if you see her playing the boa, it's most likely already too late. So I ignore all the warning signs and keep moving forward. I reach a large open cave with two separate entrances, and with a highly calculated thought, I choose to go down the right lane. Any mini miny mo cross a tiger by its toe. If he hollers, let him go. Alright, let's do right. Soon enough, we find identical statues scattered around all over the cave. I don't trust these guys. That is creepy. Oof! Oh, Holy lord. Good day, sir. Good day. Chill. I finally escape the claustrophobic cave and it leads me to a large house in an open crater with even more statues sprinkled around the yard. Wait, what's that? When I step closer to the house, I notice something in the window. You go give, give her a kiss? I get myself upstairs, but after searching, I find nothing until investigating the downstairs, I find yet another large hole to jump into. In the hole, I find a weird looking door and once I go through, it takes me to a place that looks like a modern hotel. Dude, we're indoors right now. Holy shit, dude. I thought it was Rush. But the feeling of horror is quickly shattered when I come across a crippled penguin lady. What is this? Can someone explain to me what the hell this means? I was so confused by this, I actually had to go check the Wikipedia page just so I could know more about this. And apparently, it looks so out of place because it's actually the player model of one of the lead developers. I enter the elevator and descend to a new floor, and we come across Burashki Mashki, the bow eye girl once again. Wait, the, I think- I, Whoa, 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 whoa! Are they just saw stuff? Am I going crazy? I quickly sneak past her and jump into the nearest open elevator I can find. Go! Faster! Stressing me out, dude. Once I made it to the next floor, I start hearing something larger moving around. I also notice some writing on the wall that maps out this entire floor. Okay, I'm analyzing this. I'm totally not just taking a photo of this and making this my wallpaper. Zoink. After putting two and two together, I came up to the conclusion that something large will be chasing me around this entire maze. The amount of- Holy- these are the most mother with the evil spirit right on my tail i throw myself into the final elevator i'm stressing out so hard right now 
without a second to spare. <gasps> oh, thank God. Bro, uh, bro, we barely saw that spider girl, but I heard her breathing like a goddamn asthmatic through my neck, my guy. Holy shit, dude. I am literally in my piss pants right now. And that marks the end of chapter one. Easy, boys. The end is near. End of chapter one. Bing, bada boom, bada bing, bada boom. Easy peasy. With chapter one all wrapped up, we began our lovely adventure in chapter two, which starts us off in a massive library. Yo, we're in Figure's library, dude. But we weren't alone. There was actually a librarian. Yo, her neck game is wild. Sadly, she wasn't really the nice type of librarian. The first task we got to complete within chapter two is finding two separate levers to exit the library. Brother! And we have to try our best not to get killed by the librarian. And fortunately enough, our running speed was actually faster than her walking speed. So as long as we didn't run out of Sanima, we were basically fine. We make our way up the stairs and find a key in a separate room. Hello there, goodbye. Oh, we're dead here, right? We're dead here, right? <laughs> yeah, bye. Get the hell out of here, you long neck. This is uh, execution room. Why would there be an execution room within the library? It won't happen again. I'm sorry. Oh, this is just the same like skit. Yeah, it's the same schizo message over and over and over. Can you leave me alone? I'm trying to read here. So rude. With now the lever being pulled, we can make our way through to the next stage, leaving the library behind. Bye bye. Bye bye, Mr. Nicky McNuck. Imagine she crawls under. Just to troll me. <laughs> I didn't know it yet, but it was about to get a lot scarier from here on out. I thought she was in the library a second ago. Fellas, where the hell are we? Hello. Holy shit. Ah, love that, love that, love that, love that so much. As I climb myself out of the massive ravine, we are introduced to the latest demon, Mr. Samurai. Why do you boss music? What is that? Oh, no, 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 is he behind me? Oh, <laughs> go, 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 oh, fuck. Go, just run, just run, just run, just run, just run. Yoink. Hey, bitch, what's up, bitch? Mm -hmm. Just open the door, open the door. Come on, come on. <laughs> Dude, that was terrifying. God damn. Holy sh After that really close encounter with death, we are now introduced to a very relaxing area with some beautiful scenery. But I didn't trust it because I know this game never plays it easy. And once again, we come across a soul locked door, meaning we have to find yet another butterfly soul to unlock this door. There was a blatant path for me to follow, so finding the butterfly soul wasn't that hard. This butterfly looks tasty. But I also did find another note that one of my friends left me. This place isn't real, she created it? Okay, schizophrenia. The next chapter is harder. Holy With my heart still pounding from that jump scare, I keep exploring this lost and abandoned castle, and I do manage to find quite the interesting room. Okay. Gotcha, nice. Something or someone must have broke out. I don't like the sound of that, guys. Do not like the sound of that, fellas. You're like a there lies a great if Do I open that? Guys, should I open this? You know why? I That I'm, I'm gonna leave that be. I'm, I'm gonna leave that be, okay? Yeah, see no evil, be no evil, you know how I feel? After ignoring that completely obvious trap, I do manage to make my way out of the castle and find myself in a weird enchanted forest. And we find another note left by my friends. What does this say? By the time you're reading this, this might be too late. Here, you got to the others too. I was the last one. I don't think I'll make it out either. 
your friend Kyla. With our greatest fear finally coming true, we learn that all our friends have sadly perished, meaning our mission to rescue them is off the table, and our only objective is getting out of here alive. And with our blue butterfly soul, we use that to teleport us to the realm of the Forgotten, which has beautiful scenery and some very interesting characters that we'll soon meet. Holy shit. What the hell is that? And with like most sections in this chapter, we have to find a butterfly key, then use that key to unlock the next area. And so we did that. As I unlocked that door, I had no idea what I was about to face. A tight area lit with red lights. I don't know about you fellas, but uh, this definitely does seem like a place where I could die. And looking back on it now, this was definitely one of the harder parts within this chapter. Oh no, oh no, high school, shiver me timbers. The scariest thing of all, that's a woman. I wander through the high school halls and finally come across our antagonist. Everything has uh, been a mimic of your reality since the beginning. What are you implying? Why are you keeping me here? You're playing for your ancestors since- what, what did Gramps do to get me here, dude? A weird looking doll girl that I have no idea what their name is. All I know is that I hate dolls and she scares the living Jesus out of me. She's actually completely harmless when you first meet her. And there's statues of her all around the map, so you never know which one is her. Guys? Hello. As I'm looking around for this section's key, we come across this. Whoa! Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Key one. Okay, there we go. There we go. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. The voices! The voices are getting louder! We then use the key that we took from the crippled doll to unlock the basement door. Guys, I don't like the look of this. And you know what they say about basements in any type of horror game. I nervously walked the halls to this flooded basement. I was able to hear something moving around, but I just couldn't see what was moving around. Oh, it's over, right? What the fu- And with our first death, we had to restart the entire chapter all the way back from the library. I'm gonna skip all that. I don't think you guys wanna watch me do that again. <laughs> she can't she's a crippled guys she's a she can't go down the stairs but she, she's a cripple <laughs> ableism let's go not wheelchair accessible let's go w but i do make my way finally back to the basement and give it my second try i just heard him I hear him, guys. Big Bertha's out my way, boy. She wants my ass. God damn, honey, dude. She kind of, she kind of smexy, my guy. Mm mm mm. Mm mm mm. Why are we? Why do there's just so many cripples in this place? I feel bad. GG. Oh, ooh, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Holy. <laughs> oh, that was intense. Holy shit, my heart is killing me right now. You guys already know the routine. We take the butterfly slow to unlock the door to get to the next area, which takes us to a very tightly packed urban sprawl Japanese city. And I quickly notice there's no one to be seen. 
You would think a city like this would be sprawling with people, but there isn't a soul around. And I just take a wild guess and assume something or someone has made all these residents disappear. And with that, I would like you to meet the witch, also known as Sama, the main antagonist upon this whole book. It's her. Guys, smash her pass. And so our first encounter with the witch begins. Our goal is to make our way out of the maze as the witch tries to hunt us down. Oh no, it's over. It's over. It's over. She saw us. GG. GG. Where was she? We can't outrun her, but we can hide from her. She's absolutely way too tall to fit into any of the houses. So if she comes close to us, all we gotta do is run into one of these safe rooms. But it's not gonna be as easy as just running out of the maze. We have to find yet another butterfly soul, which is across the map where we need to go. We're good guys, we're good. This was definitely one of the first big hurdles I had in this entire series, but it was definitely not the hardest. <laughs> Get your big ass feet out of here. She needs to chill. But like always, through trial and error, I finally get to the end. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh my god, let's go, boys. Oh, see you later. You gilf. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. After wrapping up chapter 2, we begin chapter 3. And weirdly enough, we begin this chapter in some sort of pond. It's not that deep, so we can actually walk through it. And after a little bit, we do find ourselves facing a cliff, and we can climb our way up, and it leads to some sort of empty house. Alright, boys. Let's get a little spooky in here, boys. And like most locations within the Mimic, there is not a soul to be seen. And as I was exploring, I did notice something quite unusual. Whoa, 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 Where'd she go? Am, am I hallucinating? You guys saw that, right? Finally losing it mentally. It's over for me. I was completely stuck in the section for hours. I had no idea what I was supposed to do. Okay, if I was a crowbar, where is, where is this? Is that, is that my Uber Eats? Is that my, is that my Uber? Can you not? Can, can you not? This kid's about to knock it off. And after a whole 20 minutes, I figured out I could just open the door. Am I an idiot, guys? Where is it? Oh, you have to open. What? You can open that? Okay, we can actually open up the... Okay, sure. Okay, there's my Uber Eats driver. Right, where is it? Where's my Uber? Where's my Uber Eats? Where is it? Where's my little snack? I'm finally given the first puzzle of this chapter, and it was fairly easy. All we had to do was a little bit of backtracking. Upside down K, T, gun, H. And then import those characters into the passcode. There we go. Genius, guys. Yeah, I'll take that curl bar, my guy. All right. <gasps> All right. I make my way deeper into the house and find a room completely filled with water. Now it's starting to make a little sense why this house was abandoned. And I wander through a couple of the rooms until we find this room with a poster with a bunch of numbers on it. But this room isn't what it seems like. Brother, it was actually a trap. Brother, brother, brother. Brother, 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 we don't, brother, brother, come on. Dude, come on, chill. We're good, right? We're good. And for whatever reason, the Uber driver demon didn't really seem so keen on killing me, so he just kind of stood in the corner and just watched me. He's a little odd, but uh, I guess he's kind of nice, I guess. I think the big tall guy has a crush on me, guys. Do you, do you think he has a crush on me? I think, I don't know, he, he seems like, holy sh Yeah, he wants me, dude. He wants me so bad. What a weirdo. 
<laughs> Alright, what is it? What is it? What is it? And guess what? Yet another locked door. But luckily for this door, we already knew the password. It was the answers to those simple math questions that we saw in that one locked room. Four, nine. There we go. That was pretty easy. He wants us to tip for the food. <laughs> I'm not going to be tipping my DoorDash driver, nuh-uh. And with that little puzzle out of the way, it dawns a new part of this chapter, which I like to call, oh my god, this place is wide open, it must be a boss fight. And yes, it is a boss fight. I think he's near us. Where is this entity? It's the evil banjo player of the Nile. Apparently, my Uber driver wasn't too happy that I didn't tip him, so now he's just trying to kill me. But luckily, this demon is actually scared of the light. So as long as you follow the trail of lights, he cannot hurt you. They kind of act like a safe zone. Yeehaw! We're good, we're good, we're good. Uh, did we go in there? Guys, did we go inside there? Yes or no? What's in here? What what is this? I do manage to find and solve a puzzle within this little house. That gives us a sword after we complete it. Sadly, this sword isn't for killing. We actually have to purify it to open up the gate to escape. Is he smoking that hookah? Why is he is he vaping? So just like last time, we follow the lights until we find the totem. But for whatever reason, our Uber driver demon doesn't seem to be playing by the rules anymore. Hey yo 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 yo! I won't lie, I was actually genuinely pretty upset from dying from that. But luckily the puzzles within the mansion don't change, so we're able to get through that part very, very quickly. And get back to where we were supposed to be. Just bays. Oh no! Ah! 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 Oh! So scary! So scary! And I quickly run to the house, grab the sword, so we can purify it and to make it to the next area. Do I get this? Do I get this? Yoink, are we good, are we good? Are we good, are we good, are we good? Don't hurt me, don't hurt me. Stop T-posing on me. Get your vape ass out of here. With the demon being completely stunned, we make our way and run to the exit as fast as we can. Oh no, we're on the wall, let's see. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like how slimy this looks. This section of the game has us dodging a bunch of hands. It's honestly not that hard as long as you take your time and watch out when the hands are coming out. Patience is definitely your best friend in this whole situation. Run, run, go, 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 go. Okay, I did not like that part at all. That was weird. I thought I was going to die there. What the hell? What is this? What is that? That's Sama. And yeah, she looks a little different now. Have you ever wondered what happened to all those butterflies you sacrificed for your selfish needs? Can't really do anything here. Maybe I can go up here. Just like climb up the tree. Oh wait, yeah, you can just grab this. You are, my bad. Sacrifice this guy. It's getting weird, guys. And we actually end up talking to Sama here, but she gives us some pretty unfortunate news. She informs us that all those butterfly souls we've been using to open up those doors are actually our friends' souls. So, uh, yeah, they ain't coming back. And literally right after we use the butterfly key we find in this area, Sama laughs at us. I'm pretty sure this is because she knows we're doing something evil and she kind of likes seeing that. But even after we find out that horrifying news about the butterflies, we continue our way and find ourselves back in yet another house. Oh shit, we're gonna die here. And in this area, we are tasked to find three different objects to get to the next area. A sword, a flower, and a bell. The butterfly was the easiest to find out of the bunch. Let's decorrupt this. And that should be purified, right? Then we found the flower, which was also fairly easy. Yeah, I think we should leave that part. I don't know about that, Chief. Was she always... 
All right. It did take ages for myself to actually find the sword. It was hidden in quite a weird spot. But thankfully, right. chat was able to help me out there. That's what we're looking for, boys. Yoink. With I having all three objects peered, the chains of the door finally fall off, and we can continue on our lovely adventure. What the hell? Am I pretty? 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 Guys, is she pretty? I think she's goddamn gorgeous. I love these demon girls. They can... I'll let her ruin me, guys. I will let her ruin me. So, let's talk about that random girl who's been jump scaring us through this entire chapter. The one with the really long mouth. Well, we're about to play hide and go seek with her, and she's actually pretty good at it. This next chapter has us running around this whole house ringing bells, as the lovely lady chases us and we gotta hide from her. But it gets even worse. After all five bells are rung, we have to sneak up behind her and steal her soul. <laughs> she's so dumb what a dummy i don't know if this was a glitch or not but if you run around the table she will eventually lose sight of you even though she can clearly see you shoot what the oh. womp womp I can't stress this enough, stealing her soul was an absolute nightmare to get done. I love this skin though. Any valid questions. Alright. Yoink! Bye bye! I got your soul, bro! See you in hell, bastard. Night night, honey bunny. Night night. You're a murderer. B what do you mean I'm a murderer? He you tried to kill me first. This is self-defense, my guy. What do you mean by that? After that section, I was ready to pull my hair out. With every challenge this game faces at me, it gets harder and harder. I was getting close to my breaking point. All right, boys. I... You're friendly, right? You good? I'll just take that off your hands, all right? I think I'll probably get, like, one more puzzle, probably. What, I hear boss music. Oh. Can I can I help you? Like, are we good? As I emerge from the cave, we are reunited with the lovely Sama. Holy hell. Who looks even more different from last time? The centipede OC? This entire section looks a lot scarier than it is. All you have to do is run around the map and find these totems, solve a little puzzle to activate the totem, do that four times to unlock a massive gate. Big, 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 run, 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 run. That's good, that's good, that's good. Run, run, run. Oh, I also forgot one more thing. Sam is literally running around the map at mock speed trying to kill you. They're getting faster. I swear, I'm going crazy. That's a that's a little tight, dude. And as long as you're patient and watch your movements, you should be fairly fine. Bro, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. That's on already? Okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. We got one more, guys. We have one more. I don't know. It's gotta be over here. Is that it? I think I see it. Right there, guys. Right there. Oh. Oh. Let's run, let's run, let's run. Screw it, screw it, screw it. But this section is still extremely scary just because the sheer speed that Sama produces. How? There we go. We're good. We're alive. We're good. 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 What's happening? What's happening? What's happening right now, guys? What's happening? What's happening? I'm seeing God right now. I think I did four pulls. Four pulls are done. Go exit. Okay. Uh, exit. 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 Oh, this thing probably. This seems like. Oh, there we are. There we are. <laughs> Dude, okay, I'm, I'm gonna be real. I did not expect to do that first try. But after that little nightmare, we find ourselves in a cave. The hell? But this cave has something weird about it. It turns out that all the previous demons that we faced are stuck in some sort of web with inside this cave. Whoa. Those are the all. Those were all the enemies that we faced before. Oh, we did it! Oh, 
Oh, we did it! Oh, shut! I, I'm just, I'm just here for the uh, the achievements, the badges. And so we begin the final chapter. All right, boys, chapter four. Nightmare, we've been waiting for this for a very long time. We finally made it, boys. The season finale, fellas. Apparently, this is the hardest part. Chapter 4 has us starting off in our family home. Home, sweet home. But something's different about it. Our parents are nowhere to be seen. Reacting. Hi. Got some clocks, my guy. Oh, and also, like, one more odd thing is that there's some sort of demon in our house that wasn't here last time. We can go there later. We can go check that out later, all right, guys? Little sheepy! Okay, she's either flying or hanging from the ceiling. All right. All right, hon. We good? You may laugh, guys. You may laugh. You guys, you may laugh, fellas. It's the funny, guys. It's the funny little goblin, guys. It's the funny little guy doing the funny little things. Doing the little sussy bussy. Very womp womp ha ha funny, guys. When looking through the master bedroom, I do end up finding a key, which actually unlocks the backyard to our house. And guess what we find out there? Yet another key. But that's not all. We actually find a note left by my mother. Hey, son, we went to your school for parent-teacher conference. If you're hungry, I left your favorite ramen noodles on the counter. We'll be home soon. You know your father can't walk long distance. He's getting old. His legs aren't supporting him. They used to. Not to mention, he's been having cold lately. When you're home, you should check up on him. Mom? Wait, what? Was that the guy that was, like, hanging upstairs? All right, what's down in the scary dark? Guys, what's the worst that can happen, guys? Oh, a nice long door. No, please. Anyone who finds this letter, please help my husband. I don't know where he went. I backed out. Next thing I knew, I ended up in my own basement. I'm slowly losing my vision. I've been stuck here down for the past 30 days. The door is just locked. I don't know what happened, but this is all started when I spoke with a mysterious lady in a black coat at my son's school. Son, if you're reading this, please find your father and get out of the house now. Is there going to be something behind me? There's going to be something behind me, isn't there? I swear, by the end of chapter 4, I became completely numb to all these random jump scares that the mimic so desperately throws at you. Hello? Any spooky monsters down here? Okay, I need key 3. I'll probably need this. Yeah, crowbar. Get my half-life on. I use the crowbar we found to break down a couple wood planks, and I do find something that's probably going to lower the property value of our house. Holy sh- What were we hiding down here, dude? Oh! I should not have taken one of those uh, Flintstone vitamin gummies. They'd be hitting harder right now. Holy hell. <laughs> I did not like that. I did not like that, dude. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, what is this? What is this, guys? Okay, guys, word of advice. If you guys ever find yourself in a horror movie situation, never go down in the goddamn dark basement or you will be mauled to death. All right, let's go down. Let's go down to Dante's Inferno and see what awaits us, my guy. Where are we? Today, me and my sister got into some... Do you remember all the way back in chapter one in that massive cave with those stone statues that if we didn't look at them, they would kill us? Well, the devs just recycled that monster for this area. Honestly, I think it's a good idea. Oh, 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 oh. Do they make sounds? I don't like what that guy's doing. Oh, you're re I just saw you move. There we are. There we are. And we died. Dude! It doesn't seem that bad. We're doing good. We're doing good. There were some situations, even if I were looking at the statues, they were still moving. Brother, brother, I'm looking at you, brother. I'm pretty sure it was a bug, though. Play by the rules. This guy's cheating! He's cheating! What are you doing, goofball? This entire section is pretty difficult, but as long as you stay towards the right side of the wall, you should be fine if you keep a good eye on the mannequins. Oh! <laughs> no, no, no! No, no, no! No, no, no! <laughs> stay back there, boys. After that little tango with the mannequins, we return to a place that's quite familiar. Oh, shit, we're back here. Uh-oh. 
The good old gym where it all started, boys. That ketchup wasn't there before. I've been. <laughs> Forget about tacos. It's raining birds. So we're back to where it all began, the high school. But this time, we're going to a different section of it. And this is actually the beginning of our next challenge. I gotta wander the halls, going to classroom to classroom, finding 13 different butterflies. And like most challenges, there is a demon chasing me, ready to eat my face. And which is the demon that we found earlier in our house? Who is actually our mother? We're good, we're good. My native land! Guys, all salute to the flag, guys. Viva la France. Bon jour, je me pour les boosters. Les boosters of the first regiment. She got the flappers out here. She got the toe beans out. Please, 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 please. We're good, boys. I'm pro gamer, guys. I'm I'm the mimic, dude. I'm the mimic man. I'm cl I'm complete. <gasps> Shit. This one session took over multiple days to actually complete. I died so many times. I actually lost count. <laughs> Fuck. Wait, wait. We died at the exact same spot we died yesterday. No shot. Ooh. <gasps> Oh! Bro, where was she? I, dude, my ears are broken. I think the key is... I actually don't... Okay, boys, be right back. We've been playing this. Well, you know what? It's a... To keep your balance, you must... Did, wait. He says it's a, he'll be do great on that. I think we got it. I need... Uh, where do we bring these after we grab it? Grab it. Big, big, big. We need one more. I think we got all th we got all 13. Big. Let's go, boys. Nice. Good shit, good shit. And right after that nightmare of a challenge, we are brought to a random Japanese city. I then break into one of the nearby houses and begin searching for clues in what I do next. I re yeah, respect the fit, dude. Respect the fit, shout. This whole section begins to make sense as I slowly pick up clues here and there. Oh, ooh, okay, wait, wait. 2v... Why are there these little babies? Poor little guy. What the hell was that? What the? Hell? What the hell is this room? So apparently those Roman numerals we saw earlier is actually the passcode to this lock. Seven. Three. Oh, you guys are so smart. We're good. We're guys, we are good boys. Can we play Fortnite? We'll play some Fortnite later tonight, okay? So make sure <laughs> Holy shit. What the hell was that, dude? I then take the key we found in the locker to escape the house, which brings us to a long, scary hallway. Holy! It was the Tickle Monster, guys. It was the Tickle Monster! Where the hell am I? Sadly, we finally begin one of my least favorite challenges in this entire game. At its core, it's very simple. Run around the map, find six different objects, then go to the middle of the map and burn those objects to escape. And of course, there's a massive demon chasing us around as we try to do that. Don't turn All you have to do is not turn around, you little goofball. That's all you had to do. Oh my god, please don't murder me. Please don't murder me. Please don't murder me. Please don't murder me. Am I dead here? I think I'm dead here! Is he's gonna be right behind me, right? GG. I fing hate this game. Ah! Bookster <laughs> clip channel. Er, used to be red, now you're green. Wait, 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 wait. Did I. It's over already. Don't tell me it's over. It's already over. It's already over. Uh, I'm gonna be real with you guys. I'm gonna love with you guys. How the hell did we survive that? Grab this real quick. Come on. Big, 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 big. Can you stay there? Man, you know it'd be awesome if you just stayed right there. No way he stays there, right? Okay, four. Fivey. We have we need one more chat. Oh, dude. Guys, we have every single one. 
No way. No way. No way! The honesty is that Freddy no way! Bear Mim and Chippy Chippy Choppa Choppa is as bad as Skibidi Toilet. And now everyone is good there I saw. I just pissed myself! <laughs>holy hell is there spiders i hate spiders we continue into a cave that looks awfully familiar it looks just like the cave that we found sama in full of webs with entities entrapped in them so with that i just assume that we're about to face the witch once again Ew, chat what is this guys what the hell is this there must be an uh, be my ancestor wait wait what that is that grandma what the hell? A red portal arises from the ground, so I enter it. And surprise, surprise, there's a massive health bar with the name Sama on it and a sword within my hand, meaning we finally get to bring the fight back to the witch. And there's someone named Sama here. We're getting really scared right now. I don't know what to hear. Am I winning? Am I winning, guys? Fellas, I need some intel right now. Am I safe in here? GG, it's over. Bro, where is she? Bro, leave me alone. Please be safe. Please don't let me die in here. Please don't let me die in here. Holy hell, please. Please. I was getting so fed up at this point, I had to watch YouTube tutorials on how to beat this section because I couldn't do this from trial and error. It wouldn't be reasonable because it took me over 30 minutes just to get there and if I just die within a minute, I don't learn anything. Isn't there supposed to be a heart here? We're good fellas, we're good, we're good. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like this. I got so stressed out from playing this, it actually began making me sick. I feel like, I feel dizzy right now. I think I have like low iron. I feel like very lightheaded. My ass is too stressed. Give me a sec. I feel like really dizzy for a sec. Okay, we're, I think I'm just stressed right, right now. Whatever, right? Please, for the love of Christ. Please, for the love of Christ, let me survive this. Please, for the love of Christ, let me survive this. Please. I didn't hear. I thought she sounded farther away. At this point, my mental was destroyed. I was sick. I was stressed. And I was getting close to my breaking point. But I knew deep down I couldn't quit. I made it this far and I had to finally beat Mimic on Nightmare Difficulty. I hear her, I hear her like very slightly. Good, 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 good. There's one right here. And there's one downstairs. We could do this. I'm sweating a lot right now. New PB. Big, big, big. Come on. Oh! New PB. Okay, okay. Let's go, guys. This is big. This is big. Oh my god. Okay, so, um, how did we do this part now? It took me months, but we finally make it to the grand finale of the Mimic Book 1. And all I have to do now is finally finish off the witch in a 1v1. I don't believe it. This feels like fantasy. There's one itty bitty slight problem though. When the devs made this game, they assumed when people played Nightmare, it would be a group of people. But that's not the situation here. So the witch has such a large health bar because it's supposed to account for five people fighting her at once. But I'm just one single guy. <laughs> I hacked, I slashed, and I dodged every shot I could take. I, I hit her once. You need to start yapping more. She is not yapping. The AI, yeah, the hitbox is horrendous. But with every slash I did, I also took some damage. It came close though. There were many times where I was on the edge of death. I wasn't expecting this to be so long.
These hitboxes are ridiculous. Oh, that was good. That was good. That was meaty. That was meaty. That was meaty, meaty, meaty. Oh, she's about to go Super Saiyan. Can I hit her? Bro, what the hell? In 20 real life minutes, she was down to half health, meaning it would probably take up to 40 minutes for this entire battle. Well, if I survive. I know the movement pattern. I know. I scanned it. I scanned her. I scanned her movement pattern. I just learned her whole AI. We're good. We're good, guys. We're good. I know the movement. I know the movement. I know the movement. Dark Soul. I Dark Souls the shit out of this. Bro, I don't have the stamina for this. It felt like I was in this battle for forever. My hands were cramping, my eyes were getting dry, and my heart was racing. I knew if I died here, my mental would be completely ruined. So I gave it all I had. How much health? Is that, is that like, that's like 10%, right? 10%, right? Give me that full HP. No shot. No shot. Here it is. <gasps> wait, wait, what do we do? What do we what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? <gasps> A month in the making. Oh my god. Holy moly, what do we do? What do we do? Which one? Left to right, left to right, left to right. Dude, that was insane. It's it's over, right? <laughs> the Mimic solo grind is finished, boys. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Who was here, boys? Who was here? Who was here? History in the making, boys. Flipped. It's over, boys. You fed your ancestor and saved your parents. The next day went by. You awakened with extraordinary heart as you bolted down the stairs. You were greeted by your parents. You didn't seem to have any memories of the accident. Everything seems normal, at least for now, boys. <laughs> oh my god yo this video took like i don't know like probably a month to edit so if you could like maybe like leave a sub subscribe or watch this video next it would be very appreciated hope you enjoyed and i'll catch you in the next one peace